earlier, Davey came into A&E because he'd lost his front teeth. He'd been running to give his friend Poppy a hug when he slipped on a wet floor and went teeth first into a table. Davey is having an x-ray to see if one tooth has hidden itself back up in his gum. I need you to bite down on the end of this and can I have a smile a second? Here, Toothy. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Over to Dr Arnold Jebrel, who knows all about gnashes and can help Dr Merriel look at the x-ray. He's got an adult tooth up here. Yeah. So when looking at the x-ray, I'm seeing two different sets of teeth. I'm seeing his milk teeth, but we're also seeing his permanent adult teeth. We all have our adult teeth hidden in our gums when we're born. Davies have been growing and getting ready to push his baby teeth out. We can see on the x-ray is a baby tooth, but it looks like that baby tooth's been shunted up and shunted the adult tooth further into the gum. So that's bad news because if the adult tooth gets moved, you can have long-term growth problems. But Dr. Jebrel isn't too worried. And sometimes they can just come out on their own, but we like to keep a good eye on you and keep encouraging those teeth to come out. Davy will need to come back to hospital for a checkup, and he'll need regular dentist visits to make sure his teeth develop normally. Is there anything you'd like to promise the tooth fairy? Not running to school. I'm sure she'll still come. Bye! Ouch. And now to our lab. Ouch. for some amazing body experiments. Oh. Just don't try anything you see here at home. Today, it's your friends and mine, body bacteria. Zand, you stink. I know. I haven't washed in three days. What? But why would you do that? Well, Chris, while you have been washing as normal, I haven't. And that's so I could collect samples of the bacteria on my body. And here they are. All over your body, you have lots of lovely bacteria working hard to keep you healthy. That's right, not all bacteria are bad. In fact, lots of them are good. They do things like eat dead skin cells and destroy bad bacteria, which could otherwise cause you infections. But that's not a reason for never washing, is it, Amazon? Well, that's true, but I've only not washed for three days, and you're about to find out why. Allow me to introduce my body bacteria. Meet the family. There's John, and he's off to see Anita, who's over there. Um, hello, Anita. What, how do you even know their names? We live together. They actually feed off my sweat, and as they gobble away, they release a nasty stink. So when I don't wash, more sweat equals more nasty smells. Now, speaking of smells... Smell this cheese. Cheesy. What are you doing now? Smell my foot. Ugh, it's even more cheesy. Exactly. Now, that's because some of the bacteria that live on your body are exactly the same kind of bacteria that are used to make cheese. Bacteria are a key part of producing cheese and actually give each variety of cheese its unique smell and flavour. Now, in these three jars, we have bacteria on swabs that zahn has been collecting from different parts of his body. Now, we're going to make three varieties of cheese. One from my toe bacteria, one from my armpit bacteria, and one from my belly button bacteria. And what we want to know is, will the different kinds of cheese smell like the body part they came from? Actually, I'm quite peckish. I'm quite looking forward to this. What's on? You can't eat this cheese. We have no idea what sort of foul bacteria might be lurking in the crevices of your body, and some of them could be dangerous. Whew. I suppose you're right. Now, don't worry. The bacteria used in the cheese you eat is perfectly safe. Let's get cheese making. And the most important ingredient for my body cheese is my unique body bacteria. Get in there and start making cheese. Because the mix of bacteria on my body is unique to me, my cheese should smell like my body and nobody else's. Like all cheese, Zahn's body cheese takes a while to turn solid. Ta-da! Well, here we have it. Operation Ouch, Zahn brand cheese. Let's see if Chris can guess which part of my body each cheese came from. Now, I'm going to let you in on which one's which, though. Are you ready? Chris can't see what you're reading on the screen right now. Number one, belly button cheese. Number two is armpit cheese. And number three is toe cheese. OK, Chris, let your nose be your guide. Right, number one. Ugh! That's the nastiest cheese I've ever smelled. OK, let's have a go at number two. 
It's less strong, that. I think that might be belly button. Do you want a little go? <laughs> oh! Okay, number three. Oh! That is horrendous. That was definitely the strongest, which makes me think three is foot, two is belly button, and one is armpit. Well, Chris, it's the moment of truth. You said number one was armpit. Are you feeling confident? Yes. Oh, number one, Chris, was belly button cheese. How can your belly button smell that bad and so strong? You said number two was belly button. Oh, it's armpits. Finally, you said number three was toe. And for the most powerful, smelliest, footiest cheese, he did get it exactly right. And this was the one you're most confident about, the toe cheese. It was overwhelmingly smelly and smelled exactly like your toes. Well, Chris did get the cheesiest one right, my toe cheese. So, we all have amazing bacteria on our bodies and some of it is similar to the bacteria used to make cheese. But this isn't how real cheese is made. Unlike Zahn's brand, the cheese you buy to eat is perfectly safe. So we really can't eat my cheese then? Not even a tiny bit? No, Zahn, I've told you, no eating. Anyway, it's time to go. Come on. Zahn! I mean, how dangerous can cheese really be? This is going to be delicious. What? It's all gone! Monty! <laughs> In hospital, it's not just the doctors and nurses who help to get you fixed. There are lots of other heroes working behind the scenes. Ah, yes! What will happen when we have a go at their amazing jobs? Useless. This is Operation Takeover. When you're a patient, life can be a bit boring, so it's important to keep upbeat and entertained on the wards. Today's hospital heroes help with that. They are Radio Lollipop DJs Dom and Chaminda. They're hosts on the Evelina Children's Hospital radio station, which broadcasts just for the patients to cheer them up and reduce stress, which is good for health. It is Thrilling Thursday. I'm really excited. We have some very special guests coming in later. <gasps> I think they're talking about us, Chris. Let's say hello. Are we live now? Absolutely. Yes. Hi, kids. So, what is it like doing hospital radio? It's great fun. The children love it as well, and if they're having fun, then we have the most fun. As a kid, being in hospital is not the most exciting place to be, so it takes them away from the whole hospital environment. What I want to know is what are the ingredients of a really good radio show? I reckon you guys should go upstairs on some awards, find out firsthand from our listeners what makes a really good radio show. That's a brilliant idea. OK, let's hit the wards and get... the top three tips to being a hospital radio show host. In at number three... Try to be funny a little bit. Good luck with that one, Zand. Oi, what's at number two? Do you get singing? Do you think that the DJ should sing, or do you think we should just play the records? Sing. Really? Uh-oh. And finally, top of the charts is... Don't embarrass yourself. That's easy for me, a little bit less easy for doctors aren't. Thanks, Tola. And thank you, Summer. So we found out just how important the job of hospital radio host really is. But have we got what it takes to be on the same wavelength as the real professionals? Get it? Wavelength? It's time for us to be hospital radio hosts. So your challenge today is to take over the airwaves for 10 minutes each. And then we want to see how you handle a special guest. Right, this should be trivial. And I have a special guest in mind who I think will give me an enormous advantage. I don't have a guest. Where am I going to get a guest? Better go find a guest. I have a professional DJ as my guest. It's Radio 1 Extra DJ Yasmin Evans. And I am going to thrash Dr Zahn as a result. Not so fast, Chris. Meet the judges. They're tuned in, ready to pick a winner. Who's the best? They decide. Bring it on. I'll go first. What time is it? It's Dr Crystal! <laughs> Hospital Radio's number one Operation Ouch-based show. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Dr Chris show. I have with me Yasmin Evans. How are you, Yasmin? I'm very well. How Good. are you? I thought I'd been really clever inviting you along because you could really help me out. And yes. in fact, it's just piled and piled on the pressure. I first go as a DJ. I'm going to hit play. 
I'm going to turn these up. And now we can hear Justin That's Bieber. Justin Bieber. We're talking over it. But can they still hear us? They can take us down. Oops. I wonder if anyone noticed. It's a good job Yasmin's here. This is a nightmare. Chris has already got a guest and I don't have one. Where am I going to get a guest at such short notice? OK, I'm going to try and work the screen. I'm sorry, everyone listening. I hope I'm not losing the judges. Oh, that's Nick no, Jonas. That's Nick Jonas. Ah, there's so many buttons. I got that. Thank goodness Zahn still doesn't have a guest. Hang on, I've spotted someone. It's Laverne the housekeeper. Can I, can I stop you cleaning? Will you be a guest on my radio show? Oh, I'll think of it. You'll be all right? Yep. Come on, then, come with me. Okay. Off we go. Phew, just in the nick of time. And for all the judges out there, I guess I want to leave you with the thought um, how much better this has been than Dr Zand <laughs> is going to be. Thanks a lot, everyone. <laughs> Bye. I must say, that is, it's phenomenally stressful. Give me five. Beat that, Zand. Over to you. Hey, everybody, it's Dr Zand. Oh. One thing's for sure, I'll give it a go. It's time for Dr Zand's amazing radio show! This is Dr Zand, and let me tell you, I'm going to make your eardrums burst. No, I'm not, I'm not going to do it. OK, that'd be bad. I'm going to give you dandruff. How about that? See, Chris? I can be funny. If you say so. We have an incredible guest. The world famous, the one, the only, Laverne Lodrick. Laverne, how are you doing? Hi there, Doctor. Good evening. I'm going to play some relaxing music. How's that going? <laughs> the judges wanted singing. Because I'm down for you. Yes, but you are 100% embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> now, what's the food like in the hospital? Well, I've never tasted the patient food. <laughs> <laughs> never stolen food off a, off a, a poorly oh, child. No, no. That's a do. bad thing to no. do. <laughs> I tell you what, I have done that occasionally. What? You can't do that. You're wonderful. Good night, everyone. Bye bye. Time to admit defeat, Chris. Let's get the verdict. So, guys, tell us who the winner is. <laughs> For one, in your face. You love me. You really do love me. So, judges, what did you like about my show? It was a little bit more funny. Well, it wasn't really you, it was more of your um, specialty death. <laughs> Ha! Huh, you got lucky, Zand. Well, we've seen just how important the job of radio hosts like Dom and Chaminda are to the running of the hospital. And although I did a lot better than you, according to the listening public, I think it is best left to the experts. Have the headphones back, guys. Thank, Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Now we're going to mess with your mind. It's weird. Scramble your senses and baffle your brain. In mind. mind Benders. What are you doing? For today's mind bending trick, Zand is going to need warm facial muscles. Are you ready, Zand? It's quite a complicated vocal procedure. Well, the more complicated, the better for me. Now, can you say the word far? Far. Can you say the word bar? Bar. I think you're ready. Didn't seem that complicated. This lot are about to get their minds bent. We're showing them a video of Zand repeating a word. Bar. 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 OK, what sound is Dr Zand making? Bar. Sheep. Bar. Like a sheep, right? Like a sheep. OK, yeah. All right, let's watch the next video. Far. 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 Now, what sound is Dr Zand making bar. in that video? Does anyone think he's still saying bar? No. No, he's definitely saying far. Are you ready to play at home? OK, everyone look at the left. Look at this one. Bar. Whilst looking at the left hand Zand, bar. what word can you hear? Bar. 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 OK, now who's hearing far? You're all hearing far. OK, now everyone look at the right. Bar. Looking at the right hand bar. Zand, what word bar. can you hear now? Bar. 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 Now who thinks it's bar? Bar. bar? What if we told you that only one word was being said? Bar. In reality, Zand is only ever saying the word bar. 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 The Zand on the left is miming the word far. Bar. So, depending on which Zand you look at, you hear different words. 
<laughs> Even though the only word he's saying is bar. <laughs> Have we bent your mind? <laughs> yes. So what do you think is going on, Sammy? Is it because when your brain looks at one of them, it like maybe changes it? Sammy's now there. That's yeah. really good. So you're lip reading, basically. So even when you're hearing a sound, you trust your eyes more than your ears. What this trick demonstrates is the dominance of vision over all your other senses. So even though the sound you're hearing the whole time is... Bar. When your eyes see Zahn's mouth make the shape... Bar. That's what you hear. But the sound hasn't changed at all. And what's amazing about this is, it's a video of me, and I know what sound I was making, and I'm still fooled. Mind fent. I think you mean bent. That's what I said.